Hello everybody, it's Redbeard Anubis, and welcome back to LSPDFR. Today is court day, and we are already ready for court. It's just past 7 o'clock in the morning. Go ahead and double check our phone here. Yep, we gotta get there by 8 o'clock, start court. And uh, we're gonna go through all the court cases that we did in this cycle and see what the results were. So, yeah, we're gonna head down there now and see what happens. Alrighty. Coming out the garage here, let's get in our vehicle. And we're gonna head down to the court, which of course is down by the Davis Sheriff Station. I will see you guys when I get there. All right, we have made it here finally. Let's go ahead and turn off our vehicle. Ah, that's right, I don't have the uh, door locking system anymore. And when I reloaded everything, because I thought that was what was causing the crash. Ended up not being the case, but hey, whatever. Let's just hope it stays there for when I'm done. My car's not stolen. Alright, let's head up to the courthouse. So I was looking into courthouse mods, like something for an interior or whatever, and I did not find any good ones. Uh, or ones that were not out of date. So we still have to do the uh, old thing here of going to the front doors and then just pulling up Compulate. So that's the way this works. Alrighty, All right, let's go ahead and pull it up here, see what the uh, details are and the outcomes. Ooh, buddy. Okay, let's go ahead and start with uh, Kira. Kira, possession of stolen vehicle, uh, warrant for arrest, attempted murder of a peace officer, uh, attempted murder of, yeah, of a police officer, assault with a firearm, brandish a firearm, discharge a firearm, resisting with, fire, resisting with violence. She was fined 24 thousand dollars and some change and then 67 years and eight months in prison jace so she got the books on that one matthew george was possession of lsd illegal possession of firearm battery on a peace officer and a resisting arrest with violence she got 17 years and 11 months in prison almost 18 years and fined about fourteen thousand dollars crazy Reagan Justice, uh, East Joshua Road, uh, possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of PCP, illegal possession of a firearm, resisting arrest, warrant for arrest, and brandishing firearm. Uh, he got 10 years, 7 months in prison, and was fined about $15,000, granted probation on the PCP charge. John Marcus on Calafia, uh, John got uh, possession of marijuana, warrant for arrest, Attempt to murder a police officer, brandishing a firearm, discharge of a firearm, and resisting arrest with violence. He was actually uh, given 60 years, 9 months, and fined $16,000 almost. Uh, resisting arrest with violence, not guilty. Interesting. Granted probation on the possession of marijuana. Fair enough. Uh, they usually do that for marijuana charges. Uh, and yeah, Xavier Dixon. Uh, was fined a total of almost $12,000, and then is, is going to have to spend eight years, three months in prison for driving under the influence, evading arrest, reckless driving, illegal possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of burglary tools, possession of a stolen vehicle, and resisting arrest. Granted probation on a lot of stuff, but the license was revoked on the evading. What was he actually sent to prison for? Driving... Uh, let's see here. Oh, he's got two pages here of offenses. Warrant for arrest and brandishing a firearm. Oh, okay. There we go. So he got six years for those two charges. I was wondering because it wasn't adding up. And then with all the other months, he got eight years, three months in prison. All right. Fair enough. Jennifer Swanson on East Joshua Road uh, was picked up 
for evading arrest, possession of cocaine, possession of fentanyl, illegal possession of firearm, and resisting arrest. The license was suspended for 15 months and granted probation. She got a year in prison for the cocaine and a year in prison for the legal possession of the firearm. Uh, so she got two years total, was fined almost $11,000, and granted probation on evading arrest, fentanyl, and resisting. Interesting. Mary Smoke. Possession of methamphetamines, possession of PCP, resisting arrest, warrant for arrest. Uh, she was granted probation on the resisting. Interesting. Uh, but has to spend 10 years in prison and is fined $14,000. John McGinley uh, was driving under the influence and had possession of heroin. He uh, is going to have one year in prison, license suspended for nine months for driving under the influence, and then granted probation on that. Jamie Simpson, possession of drug paraphernalia, got three years for paraphernalia charge, fined $4,000. Wow. Nikita Phelps, uh, possession of heroin, illegal possession of a firearm, and a warrant for arrest. She got one year in prison for her warrant, and then two years in prison for the heroin. Fined almost $6,000, and three years total with granted probation on the illegal possession of a firearm. Lucas Corleone is going to spend two years in prison, and is going to be fined $9,000. Driving under the influence, possession of ecstasy, MDMA, resisting arrest, granted probation on mostly everything, and yeah so that's how that works uh our gentleman here carrie verde was a resisting arrest reckless driving and evading arrest reckless driving possession of heroin and aggravated kidnapping this is the dude if i'm not mistaken a new empire way this is the dude that was the uh kidnapping report that they said which is kind of interesting because that's what I thought it was, and that's what they ended up actually finding him guilty of. So, we were on the right track on that one. Uh, license suspended for a total of 25 months. Wow, so two years, and then has yeah, to spend eight years in prison for that. Monica Mathewson on runway one, she was the one who was trespassing. She gets five years, 11 months in prison. Jeez. Found not guilty on possession of drug paraphernalia. They probably dropped the charge. I forget if it was her first time offense or not, but that's probably what happened. Uh, they probably kicked the paraphernalia charge, drugged her for the PCP, and then the trespassing, which trespassing was the call, and then the, the other two were found while during during the search. So, wow, find almost four thousand dollars, five years, eleven months prison. Rahu. Uh, was possession of cocaine, possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of marijuana, public intoxication, or resisting arrest. He's granted probation only on the possession of cocaine. He's going to spend eight years, five months in prison, and almost fined $15,000 for his uh, stupidity here. Wow. Marcus Weldman was evading arrest, possession of methamphetamines, and possession of a stolen motor vehicle. So the possession of methamphetamines, he was found not guilty, which is interesting, very interesting. He was found not guilty of that, but possession of a stolen motor vehicle, he did, and it was fined almost $900 a lot months of prison. Then the evading arrest, his license was suspended for 19 months and granted probation on that. So after his 11 months, you're, so once he spends his 11 months in prison, then your license suspension will start. You can't, like, for example, do 11 months in prison and then you only have eight months left on your license suspension that's not how that works so it starts and his probation and everything starts once he serves that time he might get released early it happens eleanor dissider uh got no prison time on possession of pcp and impersonating a peace officer i remember this one this was the one up in uh the hills when we did the lssd patrol uh, so she was fined for both and just granted probation. She must have had a great lawyer. Uh, she was the one with the, uh, Buffalo dressed up like a police car. And the only reason we probably caught her was because of the fact that the matter is, is that her car died and somebody called it out that a motorist needed, you know, help. But yeah, 
she was definitely trying to do that. So that was what the investigation thing handed up. But she must have had a good lawyer and was able to get it down in probation. Person named charge would be really hard to fight anyway. I mean, uh, to prove uh, totally in court. So they probably took a deal with probation and just find them. Makes sense. Cat. Uh, failure to stop driving without registration and driving without insurance. She was fined $2,000. $66. And that was just on that. That's a uh, traffic only. She's got a court case too. So that was, oh, we got a lot. We got a lot more to go through. I thought we were almost done. Uh, cats here, possession of methamphetamine. She went to jail for that. Two years in prison, fine $5,000. Adam Moore, this is speeding under 15. This is our probable cause for the stop. He was found guilty of that speed. Uh, and fine $206. Then he was driving under the influence and possession of drug paraphernalia. He's going to spend one year in prison for that drug paraphernalia and fine almost $5,000. License suspended for 12 months. So he spends a year in prison. License suspended for 12 months when he gets out. So he can't drive. And he's granted probation during that time as well. Jeff North. Ah, this guy in Polito Bay that stole the vehicle. He was found guilty. That was a stolen vehicle. Okay. Stolen property, stolen vehicle, drug paraphernalia. And we have almost $5,000 in fines and nine months in prison. The stolen property, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to look back, but you guys can remind me in the comments below. I'm pretty sure the stolen property was the firearm in the vehicle. And that's why he got the nine month charge. Everything else was uh, granted probation on that. Good lawyer. Kate Knight, Del Piero Freeway, uh, possession of a fentanyl, possession of a legal possession of firearm by a felon, possession of stolen property, resisting arrest, and warrant for arrest. This is the one with that was brandishing the toy gun and threatening people. And then we found the revolver on her. So, and she's a felon, so she had that. Five years, four months in prison, almost fine, $14,000. Uh, pretty much the biggest thing it looks like was the warrant she had out for her, which was the biggest charge. Mr. Wayne uh, was a warrant for arrest, attempt to murder a police officer, brandishing a firearm, discharge of a firearm, and resisting arrest with violence. He's going to spend 38 years and seven months in prison for that. Attempt to murder a police officer carries a heavy charge. And almost fines $17,000. Nicholas Kerr, uh, possession of LSD, uh, resisting arrest, and warrant for arrest. Granted probation on the resisting and the LSD, but his warrant got him whatever that whatever he was wanted for previous, got him a year in prison. Matt Hector, British and Highway trespassing and possession of fentanyl. You got eight months in prison. Oh, this is the guy that was we got on the farm in Polito Bay. I remember this one. Uh, trespassing so he got actually prison time eight months for trespassing on the farm so that the owner actually filed charges and followed through with them interesting that doesn't always happen Jaden cloister uh, driving while suspended possession of a heroin possession of PCP obstruction to justice and resisting arrest he got Almost $9,000 in fines and one year, seven months in prison. License suspended for 19 months. So once he gets out of jail, then his, uh, once his, once he gets out of jail, his uh, license will be suspended and he's on probation for three things. So probably he's no driving during his probation and no drug possession during probation. That's what I'm seeing. Jaden, this is what we got him for. This is what we pulled him over for was the speed. So that locked up our probable cause to charge him. Hank McGraw. Hank McGraw got 43 years in prison. Attempted murder of a peace officer. Resisting arrest for violence. Deadly, possession of a deadly weapon and drug paraphernalia. This is the guy on the beach in Palito Bay. And he got 43 years, 6 months in prison. Fined almost $12,000. Mason Harker got careless driving. Let's reveal the outcome. Fine $200 for his careless driving. Uh, driving under the influence and possession of drug paraphernalia. Not guilty. Wow. Wow. He must have had a great lawyer to get off of that. That's crazy. Okay. Haven't had one of those in a while. So, yeah. Fine and released.
Let's have a great lawyer. Uh, parking and no parking zone. Find six hundred ninety-nine dollars for uh, yeah for the lady that left her car down there. I remember that. Uh, Buccaneer way. Oh, Leslie, this is the guy who. Um, okay, possession of fentanyl, prescription pills, and stolen property. This is the stolen bike guy at the port. It's easier to remember close sooner court cases than the other ones. Four years in prison, granted probation on two things, and uh, yeah, wow, almost nine thousand dollars in fines. Corey Hutcherson. This is coming to the port patrol we did recently. Yeah, we're, get, we're getting close. And we still got a lot more. Wow. Crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Corey, this is getting to the uh, port patrol. Uh, Port Authority patrol we did. So, legal possession of firearm, possession of burglary tools, got a year and four months, and fined almost $2,000. Billy McConnell, he's another one of the uh, people who, um, what do you call it, uh, was in the van. Legal possession of firearm, possession of destruction devices. I got granted probation for that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He had to have taken a deal on that. Nine months in prison, almost $2,000 in charges. Jose Rodriguez, drug paraphernalia, legal possession of firearm, burglary tools. Got one year in prison, fined almost five grand. Jose Rodriguez had a warrant for arrest, and he got two years in prison for that. Okay, so that was added on. Mike Keller, legal possession of firearm, possession of burglary tools. Nine months in prison and almost $2,000. Cody Carter. Cody Carter was uh, most recently up in, uh, pretty sure Cody Carter was uh, most recently up in uh, Sandy Shores. I think that was the last patrol we just did. Real outcome. And we're going to have, uh, da -da 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 -da. so <laughs> at the time of his court date, so I was looking here, his court date is not here yet, but we're doing it early. We're doing it on the 25th here today. Uh, so he will be, wow, $911. Interesting. So anyway, almost $17,000, 12 in nine years and nine months in prison. Wow, 67. Oh boy, he's probably going to spend um, probably the rest of his life in jail now because driving under the influence, possession of all the drugs, paraphernalia, illegal possession of firearms. Kara, Chris, did we already go over these? I feel like we did. I feel like we did. I don't know why these pop back up. Uh, yeah, we already went over that. That was our last uh, arrest. And that's it for court. Uh, the one. The one that got uh, not guilty on the driving under the influence. Big surprise there. Big surprise there. All right, court is over. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off my jacket here. It's a hot day here in LS, as always. Going to head back to our car and head home for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed another uh, court day. I know it wasn't anything too crazy, as I say. And these videos are a little longer than I like them to be. But I know some people want to see the court dates and see the outcomes. And this video is for you people, honestly. We're not going to do them at every shift because I feel like some people don't care. But for those who do care, this is it. Here you go. My car is still here. Yay. All right, so we're going to head back home. Enjoy our day off, and we'll see you guys on the next LSPDF Fire Patrol. Take care, and have a wonderful, wonderful evening.